welcome back to Juice and Java. I'm here with Gregory, Irina, and Viviana from Jerk Magazine. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having us. Um, just to start out, for anybody who's watching this and either hasn't heard of Jerk, maybe they're a freshman or they've been living under a rock, tell us <laughs> a little bit about Jerk. Well, Jerk is a uh, thrice a semester um, magazine. Um, we're really snarky. We kind of have a different attitude than you hear from most publications on campus. Um, we cover an array of topics, everything from arts and music um, to full-length features uh, to fashion and style. Um, so, and we also include um, an array of opinions, everything from politics to technology to sex. Um, and so we're really like not afraid to talk about anything. And we say the F word. I don't know. Can you say that word on TV? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a bit much. <laughs> Calm down, sir. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, your, your topics are all across the board. How long has uh, Jerk been, been around? We started in 2003. We started as like an eight page kind of like booklet. <laughs> um, and now we're up to 64 pages full color. So yeah, you've got exciting. a lot of staying power on campus then. I think so. I what think are so. your individual roles within Jerk? What, what do you do? Uh, I'm the editor in chief um, and kind of like the brand director. I manage the whole staff of, um, we're up to almost 65 people now. Uh, I'm arts and music editor, so we also refer to it as noise. I'm basically responsible for finding stories that are arts and music related around Syracuse University and general Syracuse area. And I'm the art director and I basically um, direct all of <laughs> our... direct I the art. I direct the art, no. Um, <laughs> I basically deal with all of the art stuff, our designers, our illustrators, our photographers, and kind of give them guidance and kind of just make sure that the magazine comes together. Now, since you've been around since 2003, and here we are in 2010, there must have been, I mean, like you said, you were at eight pages, now you're at 64 pages. Jerk must have changed a lot since its conception. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. What, what sort of things are, are new in Jerk? What's changed about it? Well, first off, we've um, decided to kind of revamp Jerk. We've done a little bit of, of redesign, so it's going to look a lot different. Well, not a lot, I'd say a little bit. Um, it's kind of a li little bit sexier, <laughs> a little more modern. Uh, I think it goes a, a lot better with our content now. Um, I think people are going to be really happy with it. Yeah, and we also, um, I personally feel like we've done a lot of changes to the noise section in particular, because we used to ha run two feature stories, and then they were primarily focused on discovering new and local bands, and now we're kind of refocusing that into you know, portraying a larger issues that are of concern in the music and arts um, area. And we also have a new section which is called the package. And it's not, it, we, we, instead of running two features, we have a lot of more visual content. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have a, a package coming up this next issue that's been, that is cons completely inspired by Frank Warren's Post Secrets. So oh, it should be really Well, that's exciting. That's really cool. You should definitely look forward to it. <laughs> In addition to that, we've also fully expanded our website and blog. We've got about 15 regular bloggers now, and we just hired actually um, a full multimedia staff, so we'll be making new content uh, weekly with that. That's fantastic. Um, when, when does the next issue come out? The next issue is actually going to be dropping on Wednesday. Um, that's our October uh, 2010 issue. And um, actually, in addition to that, we're going to be having a launch party um, this Friday um, at Funkin' Waffles at 7.30, um, and do you want to talk about the talent we're going to have there? Uh, yes, we're actually going to have a, a quite a refreshing area of people. Uh, we are getting Rule of 17, oh. who are going to be opening, um, and they're actually recent and up and coming in the Syracuse University area. We're going to have pretty much the veterans, you can refer to them as uh, the Northbound Traveling Mistral Jug Band, who have been you know familiar to campus, so it's kind of nice to have them, uh. because they are good at getting no, a nice absolutely. crowd. And it, it, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Everybody should go. <laughs> if you're watching this, you need to go. But thank you so much for, for coming on, guys. And everybody should check out the newest issue of Dirk, dropping this Wednesday. All over campus. All, All over, over campus. campus. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Um, coming up right now, our reporters went out to find the best-kept little secret around campus 